Hi, Tiffle Dude here. Now today I'm going to show you how to update your macOS system if, like me, you have installed it on an external hard drive. So you can see here, here's my external hard drive. It's a 40 gigabyte per second, really fast hard drive. It's two terabyte. Now, before you even try to update this, you can see I've got macOS Sequoia here. I had to go into the original Mac system and update that to the Tahoe 26 system. You can't update the external one before you update the internal one. So that's a must. So I've done that. Now I'm going to show you three methods on how to get the installation on your external hard drive. If you're interested in doing this, I'll leave a link in the description above as to how you can um, put the whole system on an external hard drive. Now, I know people have commented, oh, you can't use the uh, AI system with it and all this, blah, blah, blah. But forget that. It's really nice to have it on a two terabyte hard drive with everything running off it. And if I forget the hard drive, I can just simply use the internal uh, Mac system that's there. So the first method, probably the easiest way, is to simply go to your Apple system settings. And here, software update. Now you don't have to update the uh, to the next level. Let's say this is 15.6. You don't have to update to 15.7. You can go straight to the Tahoe 26. I know because I've done it. So I'm going to press upgrade now. You'll get this sign to agree. And then here, I'm going to put in my password. And see what happens. Now, we're quite lucky because this has started directly without any problem. Now, I'm going to try and stop it because that's the first method. And if you've got that running like that, well done. Fantastic. But in my other hard drive, I think I, I had it belonging to another Mac and I ran into problems. So, the second issue, the second way to do it is simply by typing in this text here. Have a look at this text here. It's called sudo software update. Now, with my other hard drive, I tried it and I had to put in this text. So what I had to do was, um, let's imagine this didn't work and I had a warning. I'll show you on this document I have. Now, this first method, as you can see here, worked fine with us. However, if you run into a problem, it might happen that you get to this stage and instead of the OK here, when you put your password in, you get this thing. It says user interaction required. And then you're like, uh oh, what do I do now? Well, the second method is you simply type in this text into the terminal. You open the terminal app and then you type in this text here called sudo software update and press return and enter. So I'll just show you how that is done. I'll, I'll go back here. So all you do is you, you click on the space bar. So I click on the command space and you Simply type term, like terminal, and press enter. And then you'll have this box here. I'll put that in the middle. And you simply have to copy this text. Remember, this is uh, if the first way didn't work. So command C, copy, go here, command V, and press enter. I'll put my password in. And then you can see it's going to look for the update software. Uh, and then uh, it's now here, it said it's downloading Sequoia 15.7. So obviously, it didn't want to do it directly. But let's see if I can download uh, Sequoia 0.7. And it's downloading it. And, and once that's been installed, 
uh, you'll probably do the same trick in order to install the 26 Tahoe. But I'm going to stop that now. I'm going to, I don't know how I stop it. <clears throat> so I'm going to stop that running. Do you want to terminate the process? Yes, I do. And if that way works, then that's method number two. Well done. Now, for this third method, I just want to let you know that I'm going to put this document in the description below that you can download it. The third method, I'm just going to run through quickly on this PDF. And I apologize that I'm going to also run through it physically with you in the video. But we simply, you run into this issue again, but instead of putting in a password in terminal, you know, to get it to run, what we're going to do is simply go to the general startup disk, choose the original Mac HD to go back to it. And then you undo the password, you restart, and it will restart as the original Mac. And you can see here is the blue Tahoe uh, 26 system. Again, general startup disk, and then switch it around. Choose the other one to be uh, the startup disk. Now, you may be asked to unlock it, or you may be asked to verify it in some way. Make sure you do that. I was asked to authorize the volume, and that's where your answers will lie. Uh, just click continue. Once again, you restart. And when you do restart back into your um, Sequoia system, remember the Mac HD is the original internal Mac. You do have to put a password. I didn't put a password here. And if you don't, like me, you'll get this warning. Upgrade now. Um, sorry, it failed. So I restarted the system again. And this time I put in the password to allow it access to the Macintosh HD. And then I was able to download it. And you can see a nice big green tick there. And it rebooted. So I apologize. I'm just about to show you all this again, but live on a video. But the third method, if you really, really run into problems and you keep getting that warning we talked about, then the best way forward is because you have two hard drives what probably is the problem is is that um, it's not been um, finalized or agreed upon so what i had to do and this is what i had to do on another one i had to go here but before i shut down this computer go to the system settings and go to where it says startup disk and you can see here, this is my startup disk that I've got 512 gigabytes instead of two terabytes. Don't worry, about it. I was practicing on a new one. But what you have to do is go back to your macOS old version as the start. And we do that simply putting in the. Uh, uh, so I put in that to unlock it. And now it says you have selected mac os 26 because i did 26 on it as the main mac so i'm going to restart that because that's what you have to do for the third method okay to get to get it to agree so i'm going to restart that click on restart and we should be back in a minute and there you can see i have my uh, system this is the one on the mac okay and it's been updated so remember you must do that before what I did run into a problem was, is that I had to, let me just, this is the password for the 512 gigabyte data one. So I'll put that in. Uh, well, maybe I won't. Let's see what happens. I'll just cancel that. Um, it's to unlock so we can use both hard drives. What you do here is you go here, uh, you go to the system settings again, go to general, go to startup disk. And then you say, okay, I want it, I want it to be this disk to start up. And that's where you get a warning to uh, activate it. And I'll show you an image of, of what happened. I'll just put in the password for this to unlock it. Uh, and it says the disk is encrypted and must be unlocked to determine it's valid. So I click unlock. So here I have to. 
uh, put in the password for that disk. It says you have selected Mac OS and then now I can restart and then I'll be able to do it pro properly. But what might happen to you when you're doing this, you'll get a warning saying, ah, it needs to be validated by an account. Do you agree to this? Uh, I'll show you what that image is. So that's the image that might pop up if you haven't already agreed to it being authorized. That's what I had to do. And I continued and it said, okay, it's been authorized. Now you can restart it. Then I would end up with back to this picture. And then I simply um, went here and said, okay, we're going to restart to the 512. I'm going to restart. And then everything was great. I tried to install it and it installed. Okay, so we're back here now. Okay, so we're back here now. And this time, when I go to the uh, software update, it should run perfectly fine without trying to download the uh, the earlier version. So once you've agreed to it, it's restarted. You can see if you just want to check in general, if you just want to check that the startup disk has been agreed to be your external, then that's fine. All you have to do is click on general, click on software update and upgrade now. and you won't get any warnings like I did before. And that's what you'll get. So remember, there's three methods and um, unfortunate. Ah, this is good. This is what I want. So it says, fail to personalize a software update. Please try again. Okay. So you may have noticed that when it came to put a password to have access to my main hard drive of the Mac Mini, um, I didn't put the password in. So I'm going to restart this, and then I'm going to see if that makes a difference. So let's click restart again. Okay, so this time I've put in the password for this external system here it is so this is the password for the the main mac hard drive okay i'm going to put that in because i can access even uh files from the the main system which is quite good but remember i am using the two terabyte only so let's see if we can update now System settings, software update, and then I'm going to upgrade now. Agree. Password. And there you can see it's going to install without a problem because I've given it permission to also access the hard drive where I have already installed the Mac Tahoe. So make sure you do that. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something uh, that you can update it. You won't run into problems, but if you do, there's three methods to fix it. So don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you on the next video.